Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Chat is at the heart of everything you do in Teams. As a communication and collaboration hub, the ability to quickly and easily contact other team members is a critical function. The conversation that happens in a channel within the Posts tab is essentially one giant chat where all channel members have access to view content and participate. However, there will also be times when you'll want to have a private one-on-one -on -one conversation or chat with a specific group of people. Teams allows you to do just that. To start a new chat, click the chat button in the app bar and then the new chat button at the top of the chat pane. Type the name of the person to include in the chat into the to field. Then select them from the resulting list. To include others in the chat, repeat the process until everyone is added. If chatting with a group, you can assign the group chat a name for easier reference. Otherwise, you'll see the first couple of member names as the chat's name in the list of chats. To add a group chat name, click the Create a New Group Chat downward pointing arrow at the far right end of the To field and then type a name into the Group Name field. To begin a chat, Click into the Compose Message box at the bottom and simply type. The Compose Message box and toolbar have many of the same features and formatting capabilities we covered earlier. However, in a chat, you can also click the Set Delivery Options button in the toolbar and select to mark the chat as Important, which marks the message as such, or as Urgent, which reminds the recipients every two minutes for 20 minutes. After typing your message, simply click the Send button to post the chat message. One difference between a chat and a channel conversation is the ability to reply to specific channel messages. Channel message replies stay attached to the original message, creating a threaded conversation. This makes the entire conversation thread easily followed. To reply to a channel message, simply click the Reply link beneath the message. With Chat, after starting a chat with a person or group of people, the chat is kept. To view an existing chat, click the Chat button in the app bar. Existing chats appear in the Chat pane to the right. Simply click a chat to view its contents to the right. If you click the New Chat button and start a chat with an individual or group with whom you previously chatted, your conversation continues in the New Chat window. At that point, if you instead want to create a new chat thread, then click the Create a New Group Chat downward pointing arrow at the far right end of the To field and then type a unique name into the Group Name field. You can also assign a chat name to an existing group chat by simply clicking the chat button in the app bar and selecting the chat in the chat pane. Then click the name group chat button which looks like a pencil icon to the right of the list of member names at the top of the chat window. Enter a group name into the type a group name field in the group name dialog box that appears and then click the save button. To add people to an existing chat conversation, click either the Add People button for a one-on-one -on -one chat, or click the View and Add Participants button for a group chat, which appears in the upper right corner of the Chats content window. For a group chat, then select the Add People command from the menu that appears. At that point, for both types of chats, type the name of the person to add, and then select them from the resulting list in the Add dialog box. For group chats, then select an option button to choose how much of the chat's history to share with the new person. Then click the Add button. To pop a chat window out as a separate window so you can multitask while chatting, click the Pop Out Chat button in the upper right corner of the chat content window. Alternatively, Click the chat button in the app bar, hover over a chat, click its more options ellipsis, and then select the pop out chat command from the menu. 
When you pop out a chat, you can click and drag the window to move and resize it. To close it, click the Close button in the window's upper right corner. Any activity is saved into the original chat window. You can pop out multiple different chats simultaneously, but not the same chat in more than one window. To share your screen in a chat to show live activity on your computer, click the Screen Sharing button in the upper right corner of an active chat window. From the menu that appears, select what to share, like your entire desktop or a specific open window. A notification is then sent to the other chat participants asking them to accept the screen share. After they accept, they can view your shared content and you can continue to chat. We'll discuss screen sharing in more detail in the meetings chapter of this tutorial. To stop sharing, click the Stop Sharing or Stop Presenting button in the Meeting Controls toolbar. You can pin a chat to the top of the list in the chat's pane to make it easier to find later. You can pin up to 15 chats to the top of the list. To pin a chat, click the Chat button in the app bar. Hover over the chat to pin, click its More Options ellipsis, and select the Pin command from the menu. The chat then appears in the pinned area at the top of the chat pane. To unpin a chat, hover over the chat, click its More Options ellipsis, and choose Unpin from the menu. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.